I want to be sure that students who don't have access to an iPad know that they can still participate with our Scratch Junior coding. And here's how you can do it. Your teacher posted a packet called Scratch Junior Coding Blocks. It's a PDF onto her class website. And if you download that packet, and if you can't print it out, don't worry about it. If you can print it out, go ahead, print it out. Take note that these lines indicate where you should cut with your scissors. And then you can put them together almost like a puzzle, depending on which block of code you'd like to use. Now, there are several different blocks of code. The ones that you will find in the packet are the motion blocks, which are in blue. Take note right here, this is an empty space. That's because you can put a number in there. So remember that you can write a number that block. Any block that has a little circle like this, you can add something to it, whether it's a number or text like um, words like high and things like that. So these are your motion blocks, the blue ones. Um, this page will have some of the blue blocks. And then these are the, um, the pink blocks, which are uh, change the look of something. So for example, this would be a speaking block. So a speech bubble would come out, and whatever you write in here it will be what Scratch Cat says. And these um, will show you that they can grow bigger or shrink smaller and there's numbers you can grow them by a certain number of sizes the next blocks after the pink oh and this one here this is invisible and this is visible so if you wanted something to hide this would be a hide block the next blocks these yellow blocks are your um, event handler blocks this tells you something specific to do when the program starts or it tells you how to start the program the ones we'll use the most is this the green flag or this the touch we might use this one um, and we might use some of these other ones in later lessons, but for right now, those are the top two you need to know about. Then we can move on to the next blocks, uh, these orange colored blocks. These are your control handlers. This one makes um, your Sprite or your Scratch Cat go very, very fast. And this one here is your looping block, which um, we'll learn about uh, at a later time. But if you watch the videos on YouTube, you'll see that we have a lesson on looping blocks there. And then finally, we have our end blocks and how we end our program. So if you are unable to print these out at home, that's also not a problem. Go ahead and just draw them on a piece of paper. You know what they look like. You can just draw, um, you can draw a square if you want with an arrow in it and then the number underneath it. However you want to use those is fine, just so that you're able to um, participate without having to have the Scratch Junior. Now, once you've done that, take a picture of the blocks that you put together and send me that picture. And what I will do is I will take what you wrote and I will put it into my Scratch Junior and then I'll take a video of it and send it back to you so that you can see what you coded for your program and how it worked. All right? If you don't have these or can't find these anywhere, go ahead and click on the link below. They're included in the link below with this video. I look forward to taking your code and putting it into Scratch Junior.